It's time for our weekly installment of Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down. Here's how it works. I make an assertion. Uh -huh. Howard responds via the thumb. Let's start with Indiana. Hoosiers offense is more dangerous when Xander Diamant is inserted to spell Richard Lego. Thumbs up on this. Has to be. I mean, because, you know, listen, he's got a little edge to him. He gets he's got him. moxie. Yeah, I like he, to say Xander has moxie. Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. But he really does. He brings something to the table when you talk about inserting him into this offense, able to get outside. I mean, listen, he's not a great thrower. He has improved since we first saw him. But this is what he does best. I mean, he gets out on the edge, starts running. Now, what I would caution him to do, though, it is not get any penalties for excessive celebration. Yeah. It didn't seem like uh, Coach Wilson was too excited about that. But he definitely gives this offense a boost, a boost that they need. Uh, they need to get some run, some running game out of that quarterback position. He does a good job. Right, and it's two different skill sets. Yeah. Because Absolutely. obviously that is not Lego's forte, and so now you can bring in a guy who can really change up the game for you and went over 100 yards against Maryland. Minnesota leads the Big Ten in takeaways. Thumbs up or thumbs down. They will force at least three against Purdue. I'm going to go thumbs up on this. Okay. And here's why. Because I think Purdue is in a situation, they, the, listen, they come out with a lot of energy, but ultimately as the game goes on, it starts to get away from them. So I, I do believe they're going to have to throw the ball a lot more. And with the press coverage that Minnesota wants to play and loves to play, I think you're going to have the opportunity to get their hands on a couple of balls that way. And the Boilers make their fair share of mistakes, let's yeah, just say. It's 20 it turnovers, nine. which is the most <laughs> in the Big Ten. Northwestern hasn't scored more than 24 points in a home game, a home game. this season. They've okay. scored far more than that on the road, yeah. including going over uh, 50, obviously, against Michigan State. Impressive. They will get at least 24 against Wisconsin. Wow. I'm going down. Okay. I, I, don't, I think it's, it's going to be very difficult. This is a this is a solid defense that they're going against. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to be challenged, and I think they'll also be challenged outside on the perimeter. They have an outstanding secondary, so I don't I don't think they're going to be able to score more than 24 points in this game. Think about this: Wisconsin has yet to allow 24 points in regulation yeah, this year, so that gives you a sense of how good they are. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Saquon Barkley is the most dangerous player in the Big Ten. Oh, and, and as much as I love this kid, I mean he is unbelievable. I have to go thumbs down. It, but here's why. I, I, I think there are some players in this conference or a player in this conference that can affect the game in special teams, can affect the game on the defensive side. I have an idea who you might well have in mind. The, now, I will say yeah. Barkley can affect the game in special teams as well, but we don't see him uh, on the defensive side, and we see this player, Peppers, on the offensive side, and he just he can do it all. But I'll tell you this. So is he the most dangerous running back in the Big Ten? He is Barkley? not only the most dangerous, he is the best. And, and I don't really think it's even close. I, I think he's in an area where you have to consider him one of the better, one of the top five running backs in all of the country. He just has that type of skill set. And, and I can't wait to see him not only the rest of this year, but also next year as well. Uh, here's a challenging one for you to ponder here uh -oh. for the end. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Nebraska has a better chance of winning the West uh -huh. than Ohio State has of winning the East. Wow. I'm going to go thumbs down. I'm going to go thumbs down. Okay. I, I still think that this is, I believe more in what Ohio State is doing and, and what they can do. So I think they have a better challenge. I well, think, so they'd oh, have to win out yeah, and beat Michigan. They, they would have to so win you're out. saying they have a better chance of doing that yeah. than Nebraska yeah. has of of not losing another game. Absolutely, because I still think there's some issues to me offensively with Nebraska. That and of course, they'd have to win yeah, against Ohio State. Exactly. Right. That would, would be an issue. Now, I know that the big game's hanging out there with, with Michigan and Ohio State. That's coming down the road, but I, I think they have a better shot than, than this Nebraska team does because I think they still have some issues offensively that, seem to rear their ugly head, particularly in close games. Nebraska team that still has to go to Iowa as well. So a couple tough games tough game. for the Huskers. But you got to like exactly where they are right now. I mean, this I, I didn't see this. Right, it, right. It, you it, think it, of how close they were to essentially wrapping up the West this past shot. weekend in yeah. Madison and, and just fell yeah, short and there Twitter, in Twitter, Twitter let me know. You know. I picked them to win the game. Yeah. And then they knew immediately that it was over because I picked them. Right. Because they, they say I'm, you know, the bad luck charm. So. You're a jinx. I'm a jinx. Uh.